to my channel. I am your host, uh, Glamorous Golem. Um, I was going to be doing more streams throughout the week, but uh, due to the heat wave, it's kind of uh, become a point of, well, it was too hot. And it actually fried my hard drive, which I saved all my games to, so I've had to spend the last week reinstalling it all. So, in the last, story, last uh, stream, I managed to get Merwin quite far into the story without actually having him die. Uh, so, let's have a look at how much further I can get him. So, we stopped at the uh, sh uh, showdown with Dar. And we're about to be uh, met with Selim, I think his name is. Fucking aura. Mailman three to drop kick. Colonel, are you there? Oh. Nope. Oh, no. I would run the other way, not towards them, which is what he is doing. Uh, that's the only issue that I found with these games as well is that um, the controls, well, the camera angles mainly are a bit janky. So it's like he's taken up about a third of a screen. Then again, it's kind of like the observer effect. And someone's creeping up on him. Over there, there is a demon. I think he's aware of that. We can get through this. He is speaking truth. Listen to him. They react to sound like bats. They hunt you. Seen their weakness. They burn in sunlight. Like any living being, they can be killed. Take from the heart. Most things will die with like that. I would listen to him. We do this together. Okay. Okay. We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. Yeah, let's be supportive. Because he, he didn't have to warn me. Too vengeful. Nope. If you never know react to sound, just sneak around and escape. Why do you have to try and kill it? Is it eating or sniffing him? I heard that, so why didn't the demon? Just 
to stop him tripping over. There's a pistol there. Oh, now I've made him angry. Push, 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 push. Teamwork. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? <laughs> do you believe in demons? If you'd asked me that before, I'd have laughed in your face. But now, I'm not so sure. Sumerian death. They say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust plagued by the demons of the underworld. I don't even begin to comprehend that. No one can. You, I also never believed. But look around you. Look where we are. Look what we have seen. We are trapped in the Sumerian temple. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K. Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. So he's in charge. Shukran <laughs> Yahuya. So loud. Colonel, I see your flashlight. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. Your friends better not do anything dumb. <laughs> They're American, of course they will. Because all Americans in games are stupid. Mostly. Drop your weapon now! Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. We start hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Don't make a mistake, you're gonna regret, soldier. Put your gun down, now. But you've got no bullets. You lower yours first. Drop your weapon or we will fire. Are you hearing me? Drop your weapon now. If I didn't come this far to die by a trigger, happy American. Okay, enough. There's no point in fighting. The voice of reason. It was you who shot at me and Rachel, wasn't it? Answer me! No, it wasn't. It was his commanding officer, Da. I'm up. Why? Why is Nick pointing his gun at him if he knows he's not hostile? All we've been through? Thanks a lot. My god. You were right. What the hell is that thing? We fought it together and we won. This was a bad idea from the jump. We should get back to the temple and reinforce it. Then we find a way out of here. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Wait. Yeah, he's dragging it. You don't even know if it's properly dead. I think I just saw its fingers move. Jason in the temple.
suit yourself. I want you to tell me everything you know about these creatures. Have you seen them before? Do you know where they came from? No, you just said. How many are there down here? I don't know. I hope you are a believer, brother. When those things come back, you're going to need a higher power to pray to. Alright, there we go. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. That not even the Iraqi army could know about. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. It's him. Find a hole. Yeah, tell them exactly where you are. That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. Yeah, you've just sealed yourself into that room. A way in is also a way out. We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. I'm never gonna talk about it. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. Be reassuring. You know I always got your back, buddy. So you're a soldier. You've always got to have your comrades back. This is something else. You don't think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Curious. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. It's about the girl at the checkpoint. Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. That girl's death is getting under your skin, buddy. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Isn't it getting under yours? If not, Do why not? This is drop kick. <laughs> update, over. Doing actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. Over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard. Over. I hear you. Over now. Me, I'd be sat in the sunlight. Approximation: The creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, winged. Like a moth. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Sweat. It is diseased almost. And you don't have gloves or a mask on. Dropkick, this is Mailman T1 Actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. 
These creatures aren't dumb. Predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. Yep. They know that place like the back of their claw. I'll silence my phone. I think the levels are quite amazing. There's just quite a bit of um, cutscene. Ah, this is where the other two were. Uh, passed away from the start of a game. A pit of bones. It's the closest I've been to hell. <laughs> Disrespectful. People died in there. Ew. Indeed. Looks like he stabbed himself in the heart. Alright. Uh, Stank of death and was littered with enough to be covered in flies. Crow thinks down here after robbing them, I pity those hapless wanderers, the fear they must have felt. This was not what he wanted to show us. An unearthly Mary asked what it was. Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. Ooh, cutscene. Blowing a hole through the rock <laughs> we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right. Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. Dun dun dun! I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder. Undisturbed by the world above. Yeah, most of these games, it's, it's kind of a case of. Found something weird down. They'd be fine if I left well enough alone. Yeah, got the tablet over here from the start of a game. Ooh. Oh, something exploded. And here's another one. Secret found. Looks like he's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explored. Alright, so ah uh, right, I'm gonna have another look at this guy. Fuck Secret. you to deserve that. Kill bus, stake through the heart. Right, so that was another secret, so... Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? <laughs> Who? Vampire Slayer? Maybe you should hold on to that. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Yeah. Right, so that's a letter. So let's go through the door again. Dude. Shiny thing. More crap. What'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. It's beautiful. Check out the carvings on it. Right now, I couldn't give a crap. <laughs> oh, he's got a point. 
There's a time for archaeology and a time for uh, running for your life, screaming because you're going to die. Looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Or we're going to dig through the floor. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? Maybe. We shouldn't underestimate them. In the sides, we're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Cautious. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. You hope. You pray. Get your head in the game. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man. I wish I hadn't asked. <laughs> talking about this. Yeah? Not very concerning, are you? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong one. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells us straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. Be seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. That's a very soldiery thing to think, and I'm only going by what Hollywood says. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? <laughs> Been three weeks. It's on. Oh, that pulled my uh, headset off a bit. Drop kick this mailman to an actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise. Over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Found a camera here. Let's head back. Close the doors, maybe? Oh, did they leave Merwin on his own? She's still alive. Oh, she should be hidden from him now. She smells like dinner. Or poop. Oh dear. She survived that fall without a single injury. You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. What is he supposed to do? You're about to bring him down. Nick? Jason? I can understand why you did it. And why she's a little bit pissed about it. Nope, nothing over there. Dude. I 
can't be anything good. Dude, what's this? Dude, it's a card. Nineteen seventy-nine. So forties, seventies. Someone's got gas. So apparently there's been quite a few people that have been coming down here. Okay, why aren't you moving? Okay, so... She's stuck. So I'm going to have to... Come on. What are you stuck on? Alright, so... I'm going to have to just quickly exit and re-enter the game. Because I got stuck on that little bit. Which was a little bit frustrating. Hopefully it won't take me to that too far. There we go, bloodbath, continue. Yes, yes, I know. Right, so, got me here. So, Vina Marie, aid worker. Ah! They were saying that some aid workers went missing. So, I think I've just found out what happened to the came down here. Well, we ended up down here anyway. So, the aid workers probably fell into a chasm and then got dragged here by the creatures who wanted to nibble. Yes, there's nothing in your head. That was surprisingly easy. 